Hi, Alessia here. Today I'm very excited because today Webflow launched the new UX for the style panel. So in this video, we're going to analyze the differences between the new one and the old one. So let's jump in. The changes are particularly for the layout section of the style panel. So first of all, all of these no longer have icons, but the full name. You still have block, flex, grid, and none. And the inline elements are now hidden in a dropdown. We now have two more options, inline flex and inline grid, which weren't available in the previous UI. For the rest of the video, we're going to go into detail of what changed, especially for display flex and display grid and their corresponding properties. So let's start with flex. The display flex option has now some drastic changes. For the direction, the words horizontal and vertical have been replaced by arrows. And while before we had two reverse arrows, one next to the direction and one next to the wrap, we now have all the possible combinations within the dropdown. At first, I found all these options quite confusing. So let's go through them one by one. But first, let's understand one thing. In general HTML, the elements are positioned left to right, top to bottom. So every time you change this direction, you're reversing the order. Here I have three elements going from one to three in a row, which would equate to the direction horizontal. In the new UI, this would be the arrow pointing to the right. If we want to reverse the order, so going from three to one, we would use the arrow pointing to the left. If we want the elements to go in a column, going from one to three, we would use the arrow pointing down. And to reverse this, we would use the arrow pointing up. So far, so good. So now what if we want to add six elements? So our row is getting a bit tight and we want to wrap the elements. Not only you can reverse the direction from left to right to right to left, you can also reverse the wrap. So for each direction, you now have two wrapping options. One is the standard one and one is the reversed one. The default wrap down would be the equivalent of the arrow pointing right with a wrap. Look at the icon starting from the top left corner going down. To reverse wrap, you still have the elements going from left to right, but this time starting from the bottom, so wrapping up. You can use the same approach for each option. So think of the tail of the arrow as the starting point and the arrow defining the direction of the elements. For people more familiar with CSS properties, when hovering on each option, it also tells you the corresponding CSS. Now let's look at the alignment. This is now a nine point grid, similar to what you might see in Figma. With one click, you can now decide the exact position of the elements. And if you double click, you can toggle between the exact position and space between. On Mac, you can use the command key to change it to space between or double click to go back to the exact position. You can also use the option key to stretch the elements, or you can always use the two drop downs. The gap input is now combined into one, having both the column and the row gap to be equal. To change this, you can click on the lock and give two different values. Finally, under more alignment options, you have what previously was the align. And that's it for flex. Now let's see what changed for the grid. Previously to edit the grid, you had to open the edit grid panel. Now you can easily add the columns and rows straight from the style panel. The direction changed from the words row and column to these arrows. The one pointing right will create more rows, while the one pointing down will create more columns. Again, follow the arrow to make sense of it. The dense checkbox is now also an icon, and the alignment changed to a nine point grid with a similar controls to the flex one. So double click to toggle between a specific position and stretch, or use the command and option keys to stretch in the two axes. If you already have one of the axes on stretch, by pressing the command or option keys, depending on the axis, you can have them both stretched. Or you can always use the drop downs. The gap works exactly the same as the flex one. By default, the row and column have the same value. And by clicking on the little lock, you can separate the two. Finally, you have more alignment options that were previously called distribute. So those are all the changes for the new style panel. So if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for listening and see you next time. Bye for now.